we are discuss about the prediction of air pollution using machine learning then we are going to see about the overview of our project the main objective of our project is to predict or to forecast the air pollution uh, that is the air pollution is moderate or heavy like that based on our input attributes uh, by using different machine learning algorithms air an essential natural resource has been compromised in terms of quality by economic activities considerable research has been devoted to predicting instances of poor air quality but most studies are limited by inefficient longitudinal data making it difficult to account for seasonal and other factors the environmental protection agency tracks the commonly known criteria pollutants like ground level ozone sulfide dioxide particulates matter carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and nitrogen dioxide these substances are in compositions of a common index called the air quality index indicating how clean or polluted the air is currently or forecasted to become in areas the system is developed in the different machine learning algorithms for predicting the air pollution such as random forest and logistic regression then the experimental results shows that the accuracy precision recall and f1 score so this is the overview of our project now we are going to see about the flow of our project so this is the flow diagram uh, first we have to uh, collect our data set the data set name is air pollution data set the data set was collected from some data set repository like uzi i kaggle github and so on then we have to select the uh, downloaded data set with the help of pandas packages so the selected data are carry out to pre processing step in this step we have to check any missing values is present in your data set if you have any missing values means we have to replace that missing values by zeros or non values for avoid wrong prediction then uh, label encoding uh, label encoding means we have to encode the data into some labels like we have to convert the string into numeric integer value for machine readable then we have to uh, drop unwanted columns if you are uh, because our data set contains n number of columns or attributes uh, if you uh, don't if you know if you have any unnecessary columns means that is uh, not implemented not used to our process means we have to drop that unnecessary columns in priorly then the pre processed data or carry out to data splitting model here we have to split the whole data set into testing and training testing is used for prediction and training is used for evaluation the split the data are carry out to classification model here we have to implement two different machine learning algorithms like logistic regressions and random forest then we have the classified data uh, with the help of classified data we have to predict the air pollution so here we have to classify or to predict the air pollution then we have to estimate some performance metrics like accuracy precision recall and f1 score so this is the flow of our project this is the uh, output part that is the demo part uh, we are running our project in spider ide from anaconda navigator here we have to select your input data set so this is our output so this is the sample of data so here we have to read your input data set by using pandas package so here we have displayed some sample of data only uh, 20 number of data are displayed from our data set 
then checking missing values so our data these are the column names so every column contains some missing values zero means there is a no missing values in corresponding attributes so this is the count of missing values is present in that particular attribute after checking missing values so every columns contains the zero so there is a no missing values the next label encoding so I already said the label encoding means we have to encode the data into some labels that is the convert the string into numeric integer value so since this is the string data so after converting the string it is a numeric integer value then data splitting we have to uh, split your whole data set into training and testing so this is the total number of data is present in our data set after splitting the data so the training data contains uh, this numbers and the testing data contains this numbers then classification model so here we are implemented two different classification algorithms one is logistic regression so with the help of this algorithm we got 94 percentage accuracy then next uh, random forest so in random forest the accuracy is 77 percentage so this is the prediction for some sample of data set uh, then uh, when compared with two algorithms results logistic regression is efficient so this is the comparison graph for above mentioned algorithms so this is the output of our project thank you